Hi, this is Lou Ann Gilmore with the Gilmore Group and Keller Williams Realty, Atlanta Perimeter. Thank you for tuning in today to my Park Bench community site, all about local area businesses, organizations, and of course, real estate in Dunwoody and Sandy Springs. Today we are venturing just a bit out of Dunwoody into Peachtree Corners, and we are featuring the Jazzercise Center in Peachtree Corners. And with me today is Crystal Ramhorst, owner and instructor of the center. Thank yes. you for joining me today, Crystal. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> so as I understand it, Jazzercise Centers are all franchised. Is that right? Yes, each instructor is certified through Jazzercise Incorporated. And then you have your choice on whether you want to be just an associate and work for another Jazzercise instructor or whether you would like to own and run your own mm -hmm. Jazzercise Center. So there are wow. options. So how long have you owned this center? I have owned Peachtree Corners since June of 2017, so three and a half years. But I've been an instructor for almost 31 years um, wow. having owned center, um, not centers, I didn't own a center in New Jersey, but I did teach in New Jersey before moving down here. Some people may not know what Jazzercise is. Can you tell us a little bit about what we do here? Jazzercise is based on jazz dance, but don't think that we're doing all jazz dance things. We do routines to current music that you hear and a wide variety from country, uh, to hip hop, to show tunes, to all kinds of things that appeal to everybody. And we have different kinds of formats. We have some classes that are just totally um, aerobic, others concentrate on strength training. We have the HIT, which is high intensity interval training. So we have some kind of format that will, you know, get everybody getting what they need. It's just, it's, it's fun. You're gonna do the routines to music that you hear on the radio, which is yeah. the main thing people like. It is fun, it kind of gets your your blood pumping, which gets you going and uh, gets you through it even if you're tired. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's more fun that way, I think. You can sing. <laughs> and also the center is in Peachtree Corners. I think you service a wide area uh, of people that come to the center. What makes you different than some of the other Jazzercise centers? We do get uh, um, people coming from all different locations depending on what um, you know that works for them, what their schedule is. I think what makes Peachtree Corner Center different from other ones and more unique is the fun things that we throw in extra of not just the Jazzercise classes. Um, for instance, we decorated uh, Halloween, the entire place. We have bats and um, you know spiders and everything hanging from the ceiling. The stage is covered with you know bats and everything flying around. For National Coffee Day, I actually hosted a little coffee shop here and people could stop in and have iced coffee, hot coffee. I make a special uh, homemade creamer. Uh, we celebrate people's birthdays and give them shout outs. We celebrate instructors' jazzer anniversaries, we call them, on their certification date. So it's those extra little celebrations and parties that we do. Oh, I love the book swap that you do oh, too. Yes, we do that also, that exactly. That's a fun thing. Yeah. And um, writing little notes of gratitude around Thanksgiving and other yes. little holidays like that is kind of fun. Yeah, I get into doing something special with holidays for yeah. sure. <laughs> so gyms were completely closed during the COVID-19 shutdown and slow to reopen. How did your business survive during that time and what measures did you take to ensure people's safety when you did reopen? Yes, we closed our doors on March 20th because of the pandemic and were closed for for a while we jazzercise incorporated brought their classes online for people to join in on and, and do that way um then we started actually offering our own live stream classes in april to our members so we did live streaming through our facebook page for april and half of may then we were able to open our doors back up and have people come in um, following the protocols set of the spacing 10 feet apart so we can only have 10 people in the room where we used to you know pack quite a few uh, cleaning after every single class includes sanitizing cleaning the floor all touch surfaces um, hands-free you know you check in nobody's touching anything it's all you just scan in on your phone mm -hmm. and all of that uh, mm -hmm. you bring your own equipment in so we're not using shared equipment so everyone brings their own towel mat handheld weights um, and 
that's how, yeah, being able to offer back live classes really helped us out with being able to keep the center going. And everybody, you, we still do online also. So it's not that you have to come into the center. You could still join us online. I see the um, spots are all marked <laughs> yeah. on the floor. So that helps people to know proper distance. Yeah, too. exactly. That's we great. have to remind mm -hmm. them where they, where they uh, are, are to stand. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted to shout out, give a shout out to Crystal because one of the things she did for me, and I know other people too, is she let us use the weights that were here. I took them home, I used them, um, because I couldn't find any to purchase in the stores. They were sold out. And exercising during this time is really one of the things that got me through um, the anxiety that I was feeling. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was big. <laughs> weights were on back order everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Tell us something no one knows about owning a Jazzercise Center. Oh, well, I think owning a Jazzercise Center, you know, as a small business owner, it's not anything unique to other small business owners that you don't have a closing time. You know, if you have something you still have to do, as you know, um, you know, you may be doing something at midnight, 1 a.m. because it didn't get done before. But all small business owners know that part unique to actually a Jazzercise Center. Well, I had to get used to the fact that you know, this was totally my place I had to take care of as far as picking up the trash and taking care of plumbing issues and everything because I had never mm -hmm. owned an actual center. I rented in different, you know, other places. Um, so I guess that was something that I had to get, get used to. Yeah. Do you have any um, funny stories or anything unusual that's happened since you've been owning the store? The yeah. center? Funny story. We have funny stories. It usually happens because of something the instructor's done on stage that makes everybody laugh. Um, I guess not so funny is when like someone that I used to in the first days I would I ended up actually like skipping off the stage oh, no. and you know kind of joining the the crowd down there in the front. Um, at Halloween we did have a spider that was hanging from the ceiling and when you made noise it dropped oh. and the instructor that was up there at that time was a little at uh, the first time it happened and then we couldn't have it stop because she'd make noise all the time and it kept coming down. Um, <laughs> We have babysitting, or we did before COVID. We have offered babysitting, and sometimes, you know, one of the kids would be, you know, coming right on out trying to find mom or whatever. So there's there's always things that are making you making you laugh, especially when the instructor forgets what she's supposed to be doing on stage. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be hard. Well, tell us a little, a little bit about you, your family, and what kind of things you like to do for fun. Oh well, anything that is getting me moving, I enjoy. I like being outside gardening. Um, I also enjoy reading and uh, making things. I like doing, you know, crafty decorating things. Um, I have been married for 32 years. I have three grown children. I like to think the last one's, you know, in that category. He's over 21. Um, and we have a dog, so I'm always outside walking the dog and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Fun. And I know from time to time you have specials. Um, what do you have going on right now? Yes. Well, it, now is an exciting time because um, we are, for the first time ever, Jazzercise is having a cyber sale for Black Friday. So it is for $20 and 20 cents. You get the rest of 2020 free. That's cute. And then, yes, exactly. So it's our 2020 special. And then you can join. Your actual membership would begin in um, January then. And then after that, it's always a, you're not tied into a contract. So, you know, you can end your membership when, when it works for you. Cool. Do you have any new plans or goals uh, for the center going into 2020? Well, we hope that, you know, eventually we'll get back to being able to have as many people in the center as we would like. Um, mainly it's just to keep on teaching the classes online if that's, you know, needed for people to join us and, like I said, to keep, you know, the people coming into the center. We do hope in January to add more classes in, um, getting back to our regular schedule of how many per day we had before. That's great. Well, thank you for joining me today, Crystal. Well, thank you. Yes, I would like to have everyone, you can check out our cyber sale by going to our website at jazzercise.com and searching Peachtree Corners, and you'll be able to purchase the ticket right there. It'll be valid next weekend during Black Friday. That's great. And if you would like your business to be featured on this community site for Dunwoody and Sandy Springs, contact me and I'll be happy to arrange an interview with you.
or if you have any real estate needs, either buying or selling, let me know that too. This is Lou Ann Gilmore with the Gilmore Group at Keller Williams Realty, opening doors for you.